innovation list working with the faculty and chairman on the AO UK and Ireland programmes. The programmes are carefully crafted to fit in with the trauma and orthopaedic curriculum uh, in the UK and faculty are carefully prepared to teach on the courses, to give good lectures, run discussions, and run the practical skills in a structured way so participants walk away with what they need from each of the courses. It's important to remember that our faculty aren't paid to teach on the courses, and they take time out of their own busy schedules to work with you, and are all firmly committed to education. Okay, so Finbar, just, just tell us your role in terms of this AO course and um, within training in Ireland. Okay, well I'm one of the co-chairs of the Dublin course in 2014 with Seamus Morris. Um, Seamus works in Dublin, I work in Limerick, but we communicate on a regular basis over the last six months. We started planning this course in July and we put together the faculty probably in September, October time. And we've been delighted with the quality of the faculty this year continues to improve year on year and the addition of extra faculty this year that have recently completed tips for trainers courses it is demonstrated in the quality of lecturers, practical as discussion groups throughout the week. How long ago did you do your principal's course? Uh, roughly 20, 18 years ago. Probably. How does the course differ now to the one you did? It's a far less formalised structure now, there's much more of an emphasis on soft tissue preservation, minimally invasive techniques, um, blood supply to the bone. I think a lot of this uh, philosophy was evolving in the mid-90s when I was doing my first course and it's quite obvious in the format that the course takes now in the last 10 years in particular and I think the participants on the courses have benefited from that when they go back to their day-to-day -day jobs. If you were advising potential participants coming on this course next year, uh, is there anything you would suggest they prepare with? Um, I think the uh, early learning material that they get prepares them in terms of the structure of the course. Um, many of them now are in certain structure core surgical training programs. Most of the most participants are at that early stage in their training. So they're being exposed to orthopaedic procedures for the first time. So they certainly have an opportunity in the OR with the nursing personnel and their colleagues, senior and junior, and the consultants to uh, prepare for the course by familiarising themselves with surgical approaches, uh, with indications for procedures through meetings, and also with handling equipment and theatre and handling soft tissues. So many of them in the company already have uh, had some experience of the procedures that we're talking about here. And the very first day here, seven out of eight of my practical group had a really good play on a bone, for instance. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think even more importantly, when they leave here, uh, it's very good if they're in surgery or orthopaedic jobs, because they can then go back and almost straight away start putting into practice what they've learned. So I've just attended the basic principles of uh, fragilization in Dublin. Just want to say a massive thank you to faculty. Really amazing week. I'll be definitely taking some of the principles home for my own operative practice in the near future. So thanks to the team and uh, see you for the advanced course. It's a brilliant course again. My foundations and basics uh, um, and fundamentals correct for the future. Um, I'd recommend it to everybody and I'll definitely be back to the advanced course in approximately a year's time. Many of you will have an opportunity to complete work-based assessments during the course and we will provide every opportunity to make sure that you can record your learning activity and you'll be provided with some support to do that. So really think about what it is you need and how our programmes can meet those needs for you.